what's good. Um, I go by the name of Lens22, straight out of Wellington, New Town Zoo. Uh, what's up to all the crew at One Outs AK, uh, all the staff, Toki, Suda, Dila, everyone that helped get it to where it is now. Um, yeah, the reason why I'm doing this video log slash prediction um, vlog is because I'm the one that's going to be uh, camera operating on the day. I'm the filmer for One Outs Wellington and I've been filming for like over 10 years. I've made music videos, I've edited stuff, I've made short films, I've made um, skate videos, I've made battle videos, I've made like all kinds of stuff that has to do with making vids and um, media associated shit. So I've put my hand up to film the battles. What the fuck? Get off. Get off, man. Motherfucker. Yo, um, yeah, so I've filmed, I didn't film the first uh, event because I was, um, because I was playing the, get the fucking arm off. Because I was playing the beats and shit. And, um, but yeah, I was, I was doing that for the first event, so I didn't film. And we had another homie filming, but I think he's shot off overseas, so I decided to take on the role myself. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be meeting everybody on the day and filming everybody when they, when they get here. Uh, f hopefully, you know, it, that all goes smoothly and shit. Um, I got twin 1200, um, DSLRs by Canon, um, tripods, fucking lights and shit like that. So I'm ready to like get those popping. Um, anyway, straight into the predictions. Um, uh, first one, Primeval versus Scheme. Everyone gets Prime Evil's name fucked up. They they, they don't know how to say it. Is it Prime Vil? Is it Prime P Ryan Vil? Is it pr It's all that shit. First of all, that's the bro. Um, and uh, Scheme is also the bro as well. This is going to be a real heated battle. Like um, it's um, two you know real, real good flows going up against each other. Um, P Rhymes coming off um, another win at the last event. He's 2-0 and now. Scheme um, went into exile after the first event. He did real well against Danger. But um, he must have gone away to gather his thoughts. And now he's probably going to come back with some real good shit. Um, I'll probably give that one to Scheme based on um, delivery and um, how well he can get in somebody's face. I think he can, if he pushes it, he, he can pull that, one, um, pull that one off and grab the W. So that's what I think of that. Um, next one. Um, Cam Set versus MC Hale. Um, Cam Set's two and zero at the moment. He's he's gone better every time from what I see. So um, I'm expecting a lot from him. Um, buzzy shit this time from him. I'm pretty sure he'll come through with that. MC Hale I met once. Um, he's a dope freestyler man, and he's got mean flows. So fucking this is going to be a real good one. Um, it's like witty, intelligent, next level type shit versus raw MCing and fucking throwing down. So. That'll be a good battle. I might have to. It's it's a tough one, but um, I could. You know, it's a, that's a real tough one. I could edge it to Cam Set if he pulls off the same type of shit that he did in his last performance, which was real good. So you might edge it to Cam Set, but we'll never know. Eh? We'll leave that one open. Danger versus Bench. Um, Danger's the homie. Um, I grew up with Danger's bigger brother pre. We went to school together and all that shit. R.I.P. to the general. Um, when he passed away, I kind of fucking um, picked up on what Danger was doing and tried to support him. And um, he just came out of nowhere with some battle bars. So fucking, pss, it was only right that he could just follow, he should just follow that up and fucking keep doing what he's doing. So I've always supported him. Bench, what up? Um, I've seen a few of your battles also, and you, you don't fuck around, man. You go hard. You know, that's all it's about. It's just fucking ripping. It doesn't matter, like, fucking what kind of style you bring out. You just you just rip your shit, like, hard. And I like that about Bench. Um, Bench versus LAZ was buzzy. Who was the other one? Bench versus Hirsch was buzzy. I ain't gonna diss dude about fucking how those went. He just goes in hard, and um, that's what we're expecting. We're expecting him to go hard in this battle. So fucking, um, yeah. What up to, to those cats? Um, I might sway it towards Danger by one round. Maybe if Bench can prove me wrong, then that'll be cool too, Bench. Um, come down, smash it up, bro, and yeah, that's a, that'll be a good one. 
um, Killer Flows vs G Dot. It just sees Killer on this list. I don't know if he's um if he switched it up and just just calls himself Killer now, but you know it's all good. So it is what it is. Um, G Dot's a vet. He's taken on heavyweights over the years. So we ain't fucking sleeping on him, if you know what I mean. Killer Flows has been in a couple of battles, um, freestyle ones, I think. Um, P Town, I'm yet to see what he's like with a cappella. Um, what kind of caliber he's bringing to the game with his acapellas, but um, we're going to find out. Um, I might edge that one to G out, just based on experience. And um, But I'm not going to sleep on Killer as well. But yeah, um, talented Steven versus Acro. I've talented Steven, I've been watching for years now, he's been on all over the fucking um, AK League, and he's just, um, he's taken on some heavyweights himself, so you can't sleep on that cat, um, Acro, I watched a couple of his battles, chirp, um, he's got some skills, man, he, he knows how to hang, when it comes, when it comes to stepping in the arena, he knows what the fuck to do, he's got his own style, he's, he's, he's developing, he's fucking coming through with some good shit, uh, where's he from, Rota Vegas, what up Rotas, all the cuzzies up there, and, um, yeah, I don't know, eh? I might have to edge it to Steven, like, based on more experience, he could be more fucking, his projection could be a a, a good factor in this, he could just fucking, like, you know, he, he blasts, he's a blaster, that's what I call him, Steven, Acro is, uh, he, he's got bars, he, he's he got, sh you know, he's got good shock value in his shit, but maybe I'm gonna edge it to Steven, just based on experience, and, um, how long he's been doing that shit, but, yeah. Um, Lee hit three versus Thought Knox. I don't know much about Thought Knox. I've only seen one of his battles. So, from from what happened there, I was quite like impressed with Knox because he fucking you know he just does his, he does his shit like everyone else. They just come through, don't go a fuck, do their shit. That's cool. Lee hit three. He's he's turning into a vet now. He's fucking had a few battles. He's got a few W's. Oh, I don't know exactly how many, but. I'm, I'm under the impression he's won a couple, if I'm right, I don't know, but yep, I'm pretty sure that he knows what the fuck's up, and he's got bars too, I've seen him hang for a few rounds, him versus Dr. Apoc was dope, man, uh, might have to lean it towards Lee, mm, because I think Thought Knox has only had one battle, I'm not too sure, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Lee might have the edge, um, you know, right there on the spot. So I'm going to give it to Lee Hit 3. Um, Undoes versus Continuous. Yo, Undoes is a beast. He's he's in, he's going to try and add another W to his streak right now. I know that. So he's going to be going fucking hard. Continuous, um, I don't know much about him. Uh, he might be TKM or TPA or one of the bro's homies. Um, he's got mad flow in his first battle that he had. He um, Personally, I just think he, he just... Took Ray's head off. No, no offense, but just calling it how I see it, man. Um, so he's definitely going to be bringing some more shit to the table um, as we go along. Continuous versus Undoes. Maybe, hmm, I don't know. Maybe Egypt to Undoes. I'm going to have to see, though. Um, yeah. Crazy Cakes versus Enemy MC. Um, I've seen Enemy's battles. He can definitely hang in the fucking arena. He can he can throw punches. He can fucking he's got good huge capacity in his head and all the shit floating around. Fuck, I don't know how he comes up with half of it. Crazy Cakes went hard against Undoes. Um, he took an L, but you know that was only his first battle from what I've seen, and Undoes his first battle from what I've seen. So it's kind of like an intro to um. To now, he knows what the fuck he's going to have to do. Crazy Cake, so you know what you're going to do now, man. You're going to have to bring the heat, bring the pain. But yeah, we'll see you um, on the day, man. But I um, might have to edge it to enemy based on, based on, uh, based on you know uh, experience. He's been he's been up there a few times. But yeah, uh, Gamble versus Stoner. Now, Gamble took an L against P Rhyme um, in the first event. Um, and that was just that, like, you know, he, he, he showed up, and he did his shit, he didn't duck or fucking no-show, he showed up, you know, so, props to Gamble for doing this shit, uh, Stoner has grown up, I think, around some good MCs over the years, he doesn't know me that well, but I've fucking seen him, you know, and I know what he, 
what he's capable of and who he hangs around with. So um, people don't really know much about Stoner. But you might fucking be surprised when you hear him, man. Because he hangs around some good people that know what the fuck they're doing. You know what I mean? So um, in that regard, uh, that's another tough one. Because I think Gamble could have improved since his last battle. He probably did some fucking homework. And um, got some new shit together for this. So that's, that's, a, that's a tough one. So I might have to edge it to Gamble. Um, if he can pull it off. Stoner, prove me wrong. And come with the heat, homie. And we'll see what the fuck happens. Okay. Um, 2-1 versus Teekster. These guys are both my homies. Um, they both come from prestigious hip-hop backgrounds. From dope crews. From fucking heavy bars. Heavy punches. Heavy flows. Um, we're going to have to, man, that, that's going to be like, you know, just two rams going head to head from what I think. So um, we're going to have to fucking wait for that. I reckon that's just going to be so close and so fucking raw that it's just going to be the one, man. So fucking, I can't judge that one. 2-1 um, Texter. Because it's just dead even in my fucking, in my thoughts it's dead even. So yeah. Um, right. And there's a two on two battle. Dr. Apocalypse and Turkey Cones versus Grandchild Continuous. Can't really judge that because it's promo from what I hear. So, yeah. And the last couple will be uh, Scholar versus Grandchild. Now, um, you know, I've been watching one out for like five or six years now, I think. And Scholar was one of the first cats that I ever saw um, battle against the OGs of one ounce AK. So I call Scholar OG. He's been there since kind of since the beginning, you know, like he just fucking he knows what he's doing and he's been up against the best. Um Grandchild's gonna fucking come through with some shit that you probably never heard before. Don't sleep on that cat man. He deserves the shot. Like he deserves it because he said he fucking deserves it. You know, he wasn't he wasn't backing down from the start. And that just goes to show that, that somebody's fucking somebody thinks they can do it. And if you think you can do it, then fucking pursue it. You know, like bars. But, um, but yeah, don't sleep on that dude, man. Let him do his thing. He might be fucking in for a little surprise. But um, Scholar's the vet. Might have to edge it towards Scholar based on experience, based on fucking unpredictability. He'll come through with some shit you ain't never heard. Some shit you'll fucking, you won't expect. But yeah, you might have to edge it to Scholar. Grandchild, prove me wrong, homie. The last one, Damascus versus Hirsch. Uh, it's non-title grudge match. What the fuck does that mean? It means that he's not risking his his um, championship over it or something. Whatever. That's all good. Um, Hirsch is the bro. I might have met him like a couple of times, maybe at gigs and shit. Can't remember. But yeah, I know he's from out the P and he's 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 pretty local. So um, good luck to Hirsch. Um, Versus Damascus, DMG, you've, you've come a long way, man, to get to where you are. You've taken a few heads off, so props out to you, bro. And I um, can't wait to fucking meet up with you guys and, you know, we'll see you at the battles. We'll see AK come through to the battles. We'll see, um, who thought Knox from Christchurch, is it? Come through to the battles. And everyone from the heart, everyone from fucking Eastside Wellington will come through for the battles. And, um, yeah, looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to see you all there. So we'll catch you um, November the 5th at Valhalla down in Welly for the battles. That was my prediction. Lens 22, Wellington. Peace.